Hi there, welcome to this build of a 65 inch wingspan Great Plains Trainer 60. And we're building this from a great set of plans that I downloaded off Outer Zone, off the Outer Zone website. Now, in the last video, we got the wing skeletons completed. And now we're ready to join these together so that we can fit them to the fuselage, which we've got half completed. And I don't want to do any more to that fuselage until I've actually got the wings fitted. But before, there's one last job to do before I actually set the wings up and join them. And that is to just finish the trailing edge sheeting. Now you can see on that side, there's just a very narrow piece there. So I'm going to add that down this uh, on the underside. But before I do that, I need to make provision for the hinges because I'm going to be using uh, some robot hinges and I want to make sure that there's enough balsa there to get a good firm purchase at the back here to hold those ailerons good and solid. So what I'll do is I'll move the camera in and we'll have a quick look at what we're doing and then we'll have a think about setting up the, uh, setting up the wings to join them together. Right, we've got this quarter inch balsa trailing edge here and I've marked on the location of the hinges. There's another one, two, three, four. And these are 200 mil apart. Now if I just drill a hole and put this robot hinge in here, there's gonna be absolutely nothing for that hinge to, uh, to grip onto. And the barbed part of the hinge itself will just be in free air. So it's not gonna be very secure. So what I've done is I've cut some blocks, or actually I've only cut a couple at the moment, but I'm gonna cut blocks and I'm gonna glue them into place where the hinge is going to go. And there you can see there's plenty of balsa to, uh, to glue that hinge in. I've profiled them so they fit quite nicely onto that uh, sheeting there. It's um, still going to need some sanding here, but you can see from this that that trailing edge hasn't been profiled. So I need to put a little bit of an angle on the back of the trailing edge balsa there, and at the same time I'll sand these blocks. Now, once the sheeting goes on there, that narrow strip of sheeting, it'll bring up the covering so it's just above these blocks so that it's not, uh, it's not gonna stick onto those blocks, which is, is good because you don't want that showing through the film. So I'm gonna get on now and do all eight of these and then we'll get on to, uh, to joining the wings. Well, I've now got that small piece of sheeting on both sides of the, the trailing edge and those blocks we looked at earlier those are all in now and will give a really strong uh, purchase, good gluing point for those robot hinges. So that's a, a really good job to get done. But now is a really exciting and slightly nerve wracking stage. We're going to glue the wings together and we only really get one chance to do this right. If we get it wrong, okay, we could cut them apart, but that'll get pretty messy. So we've got one chance. So we need to be absolutely right that everything is straight, the dihedral's correct, there's no twist in the wings. So what I strongly recommend is if you're gluing wings together, have a dry run. Work out how you're gonna support it, how you're gonna measure the dihedral, how you're gonna clamp it together, how you're gonna take it apart, put the glue on, and then get it back together. Really, really, critical stage. Now, to aid us, we, when I built the wings, I'm just looking at these, which is, yeah, when we built the, the wing skeletons, uh, we put a slight angle on the uh, central ribs that will give us that dihedral. So that's a really big help. But also what I'm, I've done is I've created a three mil dihedral brace. And this isn't on the plans, they just show the wings being screwed together and then the central portion uh, being fiberglass, which will give us the strength, but I like putting dihedral braces in. There's very little weight to this. And also because 
on the plans they were talking about screwing down from the top which to me just won't look good because I'm not doing that and I'm actually putting a locking mechanism which slots into the fuselage I want to have the dihedral brace because that is going to form part of the support for that locking mechanism. We'll talk more about that once I've got the wings glued together. So, but we'll need to put the brace in gluing them together. So I'm going to get all this set up now and we'll come back and we'll have a look at what I've done, why I've done it and, uh, and then we'll get them glued. Before I fit these wings together I thought even though I'm doing the dry run, I thought I should show you a little bit more about the brace because it might not be visible when the wings are together. So to fit the brace, I've cut a, a slot or a, a piece of the, uh, the, this central rib out on both sides. And that's just so I can slide in this brace. As I said earlier, this is 3mm. I don't think I said it, it, it's ply, it's a birch ply. I should have said that earlier but that's just going to slot in there like that and it will glue against these uh, quite heavy central uh, top and bottom spars. Now what I've also done is I've drilled a couple of holes in this brace and they're uh, 40 millimeters apart and they're just drilled so they're just high of this bottom spar here and they're 8mm holes and they will receive this 8mm dowel and we'll see more of this later but the dowel is basically going to come through the front of the wing and, uh, and lock the wing in position. So essentially 40mm apart, 8mm holes and they just slot, it just slots into place like, like that. So there we go and then once we've got all this glued together we can then put the dowels in and, uh, and glue them. Okay I think we're ready to go now and get this thing glued. I dare tell you how long I've spent looking at this and just checking it, make sure the rear tips are right, the front tips are the same and getting the right dihedral, working out how I'm going to clamp it, getting this straight edge, I've used the big two meter um, level I've got just to put it on the front to get it all straight. Now it's really important when we're doing this that it sits where you want it uh, without any tension. So no weights on the tips, just to bring the tips down so they're equal, because the thing is they're going to spring back up as soon as you take the weights off. It needs to sit exactly where you want it without any tension. The only tension I've put is on this front here to hold the dihedral brace in place and these blocks here to keep these two spars uh, vertical um, at a tangent to the building board. I've just moved the camera around a little bit and we'll have a closer look. Right, well to start with I've put my big blocks which are square against the spars. So making sure they are against the top and bottom spar and that's at 90 degrees to the building board, which it is. Going along just checking that is nice and square. So we've got the wing in the orientation we want it. Now along this front edge, and I'll move the camera around briefly so you can see the front end better in a second. Along this front edge I've put my 2 metre uh, level and I just put a couple of blocks against that and here just to put a bit of pressure on just to make sure that doesn't tilt off the square. Now before I actually tightened up these, let me just take those off. Before I tighten those up on the brace, I made some lifts, which I've got here, and it's just a piece of balsa with a little step on it, so I can work out, and I've made two of these, so I've got one that end, identical, and I've put that under the third rib, like that, and then just put that in place. And like I said, I've done another one there, and I've used my ruler just to check that that 
is exactly the same height, which is 79 mil. That is absolutely spot on at those two points. And don't forget, these are, these are holding it square. So now, really, the wing should be fine. I check the back here, and I check the front here. Now, at first, this was either a little high or a little, it was a little low, and it was just needed just a very slight twist of the wings in the center here, just to bring those to the correct height. And I'll need to do that again when I glue it and set it out. I've just got the clamps here, holding this rib together. In fact, I probably only need the rear one because these in the middle here won't get glued until afterwards. I've got the dihedral brace, which I slotted in. And if I can get that out. There we go. So there's a dihedral brace that just slots into place and I've got those blocks. Now, once I've got everything where it needs to be with all the measurements, I'm going to just put these clamps on and glue this dihedral brace in. And that will essentially be gluing the wings together. You just pinch them together a little bit and I will glue down the centre of the ribs obviously. And that's it really, it's really quite simple. I did make some lifts for here to go at the back to keep that the right height but I found that doing that on the rear of the rib was actually putting a little bit of tension. It didn't want to be in that position, uh, the position it was in and it was only there because I had this brace. And so I'm opting to get these tips right by just moving and adjusting it as I clamp it. Hope that makes sense. Now I'll move the camera around and we'll have, just have a quick look at this front edge. So here we can see the front edge. I'll try not to get in the way of the camera. And um, as I said, two metre level, just keeping this front edge completely straight. The block's holding it. When I said earlier that I had to just move the, the centre section just because that tip on that far end was a little bit low, I'm talking about moving it half a mil, something like that. It was minute really because this was only about one or uh, one mil too low. You know, it was, it, we're talking about very, very finite amounts here. But you can see from this angle, it's quite simple. It's all set up now, there's very little, or there's no, well, there's no tension in it other than just here holding this central brace together. So, I'm going to get this glued now, I'll probably have another think about it. I'm going to um, glue this with epoxy and um, then it will be nice and, uh, nice and strong. Well, this is all glued now and it's gone together really nicely and the measurements all check out and everything the spars are nice and uh, square with the building board so i'm just going to step away from this now and leave it until tomorrow so we'll come back tomorrow take this off and see what it looks like well i've now got the uh, the wings unclamped and off the board and they look lovely it's really exciting when you, uh, when you finally look at them, having glued them, and they look all true and straight, and no, uh, no issues to try and deal with. So that is really, really good. And at this stage, you just can't help but fit them to the fuselage to get an idea of just how this is going to look. And uh, it really starts to bring the plane to life when you do that. I think this is going to be a great fly and I'm really excited about moving on with the next stage of this which is going to be finishing off this central portion of the wings and fitting the uh, locking mechanism that will eventually go into the fuselage. Not sure, that's going to be the next video, not sure how far we'll get to that but we'll certainly finish off this central section with the locking dowels whether we get them to fit into the fuselage will be another matter 
because before we do that we need to set the correct incidence by adjusting these um, uh, these wing seat saddles so anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope you found it useful and I hope you'll follow me in the build of this really great looking great planes trainer 60